So in the previous video, we saw that how you can actually take a look inside your database files. So if you simply use a strings command, then you can see the data, the exact data that is residing inside the database file. So now in this video, we will do a demo of how you can actually configure the transparent data encryption. For uh, doing this, uh, I would be working on the on-prem environment, the VM environment that we created and where we installed the XE database, right? We are not taking the Oracle Cloud environment because uh, when you are creating a VMDB system, then TDE automatically comes or it's already by default enabled. So to learn TDE, I would say that always good to do the things from ground up. So that's why we'll work on the XE database. Consider that XE database uh, as an on-prem database that you are having. It could be say on a bare metal or it could be on your VM machine or any of your data center in-house machines, right? So uh, let's uh, take a look how this can be done. So all you need to do is you need to create a SQL net.ora entry and what you're specifying there. So you are specifying an encryption wallet location. You give source method is equal to file. So we are working on a soft um, software based um, key store, you can say. So that's why it's file. If you are working on uh, more uh, on the HSM side, um, which is a hardware security module, then you would specify the method as a HSM. And in method data, I'll give the directory, which is my wallet um, directory. So if I just simply uh, go to my um, SQL net.ora file, Oracle Home Network Admin, and I go to SQL net.ora. So I'll just um, simply copy paste uh, these entries. Right, so we're just specifying the entry, uh, the encryption wallet location, method is a uh, file, method data, we are giving the directory is opt oracle wallet. Okay, all good. Just to confirm the changes have been done, good. Okay, uh, so the next command is that we need to now create a key store. Now guys, uh, there is slight a uh, change in the terminology from Oracle. Previously, what they used to call a wallet has been termed as a key store. So when you're uh, looking at the recent versions of Oracle, I believe it's from 12CR2 onwards, you'll see that they use the word key store. Previously, they used to use the, uh, the term wallet. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to create a key store. Right, and this key store should map the directory that we have given here, which is opt oracle wallet, opt oracle wallet, right? So now what we are doing is you have a command which is administer key management. Also remember in terms of AKM. So any encryption related command that you have to give is based on the administer key management. So all we are saying is administer key management, create key store, giving the location of the, um, the directory, and identified by password. So what you are doing is consider that you are actually protecting your wallet through a password. So it's always good to give a better um, password in this because we're just doing it for the demo purposes. We are using a very simple password, but it's always good that you protect your wallet using a proper password. So let's try and run in uh, this command. And the other thing is that we are actually running these commands on a on a container database. We are not yet working on the pluggable database. So, so if I do, so yeah, I'm inside uh, this contain, uh, container database. So I give all, uh, administer key management, create key store, opt Oracle wallet identified by this. Let's see what happens. So previously the directory was all empty. And if I go to this directory and see, so you see that uh, this wallet uh, is actually created for you, which is the eWallet.p12. So the encryption key actually stays inside the wallet, right? So right now there is no encryption key. We just created a wallet for you. So the next step would be, we need to create an encryption key. But always remember, whenever you have to 
create an encryption key or work on an encryption key, you need to first open the wallet. Just think of your own wallet or a purse as, as we a lot of people call it. So if you have to find a key outside or you want to get a key outside from your purse or your wallet, you first need to open that wallet, right? So that's what we are doing. And to open the wallet, you would always need the password. So the password that we gave, as I said, you protect your wallet using a password. So let's try and open the key store or open the wallet. So I'm saying administer key management, again, AKM, set key store, open identified by Oracle 1.2, which is my password. So now I'm trying to open the um, wallet. So if, if you take a look, it's all good. Right, um, and if you see nothing has changed as well, that's good. Now is the key thing. Now you are creating your master encryption key, which is the backbone of TDE or transparent data encryption, right? So now you, so as a first step, you created your wallet. Then you opened your wallet using the password that was set. And now you are putting a key inside that wallet or you are creating a new KE key or normally MEK as we call it in Oracle world, which is master encryption key. So again, it is AKM, administer key management. And the, the uh, key, simple thing is that you say set key identified by Oracle 1.2 with backup. So all we are saying is that when you do it, do take a backup of the wallet as well. So administer key management, set key identified by Oracle 1.2 with backup. So let's see what happens. So when you execute this, you'll see that a, a new key is actually generated for you and is actually stored inside that. So if you see here, now you will see two files because I did with backup, it actually creates a backup, keeps it handy for you in case something happens and it actually uh, creates um, another file which, which is actually available here. So first a backup file is created and then your existing uh, wallet file is there. Good. So then again, as, as we said, we check the wallet directory, we've done that and verify if the wallet has been opened in the CDB database or not. So there's a simple command, v$ encryption wallet is uh, the, um, the data dictionary view that I normally use to check the status of the wallet and what mode it is in. So let's try and execute this. We are inside a CDB and if you see, so here we can clearly see that this is the wallet that we are working on. It is a wallet type of file. The uh, wallet type um, is, is, it's actually, as I said, it's a wallet which is protected by a password. The status is open, as I showed you, that we opened the wallet. And uh, if, if, if uh, there are two types of key stores, either it is United Key Store or a type of key store is none. So in this case, it's none. So all it is showing us is that inside your CDB, you are having your uh, wallet that has been um, opened and it is a password based wallet. Cool. So all good. So, um, so guys, all I wanted to show you was what are the basic steps for configuring uh, TDE inside a container database. In the next video, we will take a look how you can configure TDE for a pluggable database or a PDB. Thanks for watching.